Hey GED students, um, in one of the comments on a YouTube video here, I got this problem from a student. She asked me to help her simplify this absolute value expression. So this is just a multi-step uh, expression here for us to simplify. Uh, you know, I see some subtraction, I see some addition, and I see some absolute value. So we've got some various operations going on. And whenever you need to simplify a problem or an expression that has more than one operation, it is important to remember the order of operations. So first step to the order of operations is always to work inside of groupings. Some people use the abbreviation P for parentheses. I use G inside of groupings. Uh, parentheses are one type of groupings, but they're not the only type, and that's why I prefer a G, because we can use lots of things to group. And one of those things we can use are absolute value bars. So you can see that these absolute value bars have naturally formed a grouping within the parentheses. Uh, because that little part of the expression has been grouped, we should start there. Okay, so first thing I should do is 86.4 plus 0 0.2, or 86 and 4 tenths plus 2 tenths. Now, if you had this on the GED test, something like this, it would definitely be on the non-calculator section, just a straightforward simplification problem. So we better know how to do this by hand. So remember, you can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. So if I want to do this in my side work here, I'm going to need to make sure that my ones place lines up with my ones place and my tenths place lines up with my tenths place when I go to add. And we can do that. The easy way to do that is just by making sure we line up at the decimal place. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and do that. Four tenths and two tenths, of course, gives me six tenths. Uh, six ones and no more ones gives me six, and eight plus no tens gives me eight. And so I get 86 and six tenths, or 86.6. Now, I've met very few students who are bad at math and very many who are very crappy secretaries. So super important when you, you are simplifying um, an order of, algebra, um, order of operations expression or an expression with more than one operation, uh, super important that you drop down whatever you haven't used. So you can see that I got that 86.6 from that red box there, but I haven't done the absolute value yet. I haven't done the subtraction yet, and I haven't touched the 706.2. So I'm just gonna drop it to the next line and then consider what to do next. Okay, now you might not be sure what, where we should go from here because absolute value bars aren't really um, dealt with in the order of operations, they don't come up. But let me just tell you that those absolute value bars there are still kind of like holding this 86.6 uh, away in its own little group. Uh, it's just treating, it's just dealing with that one number, the absolute value of 86.6. Before I can deal with the subtraction, I have got to get rid of those absolute value bars. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take the absolute value of 86.6. Now, remember, absolute value is defined as a number's distance from zero on a number line, which sounds like a weird definition. And actually isn't a super helpful one to students when they're simplifying because they're like, what the heck does that mean? Basically what it means, because distance is always positive, is make the number positive. Now, be really careful. Those absolute value bars only work on the number inside of them. So I'm saying to make 86.6 positive, and you say, Kate, 86.6 is already positive. Okay, so the absolute value of 86.6 is just 86.6. And I know what you're thinking, why did we bother to have them? Well, it doesn't always end up like that. It does with positive numbers. They will still be positive. But if I'd have had a negative 86.6 in there, it would have ended up being positive as well. So I just simplified that piece. Now be really careful. Again, you have to drop down everything you haven't used up. So you haven't used that subtraction yet. It was outside of the parentheses, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, outside of the absolute value bar. So it hasn't been touched. It hasn't been affected. And of course, we haven't touched the 706.2. And we can see that my new expression is 706 and 2 tenths minus 86 and 6 tenths. And so once again, if we were doing this on the GED, uh, we would have to do our work by hand. So again, we can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. So super duper important that we line up the place values here. Tens with tens, ones with ones, tenths with tenths, and then we can subtract. 
Okay, I only have two tenths. I can't take away six tenths. I'm going to borrow. Six goes down to five. I just borrowed ten uh, tenths. That gives me twelve tenths. Uh, twelve minus six is six. Okay, once again, I only have five ones. I can't take away six ones. I'm going to have to borrow. But I go over here to the next column, and I don't have anything to borrow from. It's zero. So let me keep moving, okay? I'm going to go all the way to the first number with the value. So seven, I can borrow from. Seven goes down to six, and then the next number goes up to ten. And now the five has something to borrow, or I should say the ones place, the ones place, has some in the tens place to borrow from. So we'll do that. Ten will go down to nine. Five will go up to 15. There we go. 15 minus six is nine. Nine minus eight is one. And six minus nothing, of course, is six. And I get 619 and six tenths. And that is simplified. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.